Rocky Raccoon, amusing and at times ridiculous. This song kind of comes out of nowhere in the Beatles catalog. Paul McCartney has always mentioned he liked country western music and took a good crack at it, even if it starts with a man with a Liverpudlian accent doing a questionable Southern American accent. This is the story of Rocky Raccoon. India sure did seem to have quite an effect on the Beatles' songwriting, because yet again this song was initially created there. Paul McCartney wrote Rocky Raccoon while on the roof of the Rishikesh Ashram in 1968. Originally titled Rocky Sassoon, Paul wanted to beef it up and give it more of a cowboy edge. As a side, remember in my Bohemian Rhapsody video how we learned Freddie Mercury initially made it to be a cowboy song? It's kind of interesting that some of the best musicians in Britain love country western. I need to look more into that. But just like Freddie Mercury, Paul wanted his main character to be a bit more cowboy. He says, Rocky Raccoon is quirky, very me. I like talking blues, so I started off like that. Then I did my tongue-in-cheek parody of a western and threw in some amusing lines. I just tried to keep it amusing, really. It's me writing a play, a little one-act play giving them most of the dialogue. Rocky Raccoon is the main character, then there's the girl whose real name is McGill, who called herself Lil, but she was known as Nancy. There are some names I use to amuse, Vera, Chuck, and Dave, or Nancy, and Lil, and there are some I mean to be serious, like Eleanor Rigby, which are a little harder because they have to not be joke names. In this case, Rocky Raccoon is some bloke in a raccoon hat, like Davy Crockett. The bit I liked about it was him finding Gideon's Bible and thinking, some guy called Gideon must have left it for the next guy. I like the idea of Gideon being a character. You get the meaning and at the same time get a poke at it. All in good fun. And then of course, the doctor is drunk. And that drunk doctor was no random tidbit in the song. When Paul McCartney got into a moped accident in 1966, he fell, busted his lip, and chipped his tooth. You can see that here. Paul says the doctor that came to treat him stunk of gin, screwed up his stitching, so he had a big lump on his lip for a while. Lyrically, the song shines well, but did you know Paul kind of winged it while recording? It went through many changes and rewrites. Even the beginning monologue was pretty different. Rocky Raccoon, well, he was a fool unto himself, and he would not swallow his foolish pride. Mind you, coming from a little town in Minnesota, is not the kind of thing that a young guy did when a fella went and stole his chick away from him. Okay, I'll admit it's a pretty weird song, and I never really got over Paul's accent in the beginning, but nonetheless, another fantastic Beatles song, and also a really fun story. If you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. My videos will always be free, and this is a great way to help me make them better for you. Check out my debut album, The Holly Hobbs, on Spotify and Apple Music, and click the like button, subscribe, and notification bell, because that is the best way to get notified when a new video is released. See you next time.